August 16th, we're going to see all of these waves collide. Catholics and Lutherans and, and Evangelicals and Charismatics literally rallying across the nation saying, you know what, we may not say the same things, but we're on the same team. We're lifting up Jesus and we're going to saturate this nation. And that could change the world. Your salvation is not the gospel. It's, it's like a good hope, like a false hope of salvation after uh, you know after like you weigh out the sacraments versus like your good deeds or I'm sorry the sacraments and your good deeds versus your sins and then like whatever's left after the balance is, is weighed out and that's how long you spend in purgatory and after that then you can go to heaven. It's blasphemy. Christ, the biblical Christ, who wills that all men would be saved, that all men would be reconciled to God by faith in the Son, in the work and person of the biblical Christ, all men to be saved, even, even Catholic men and Catholic women and whole Catholic families. And I speak this in love, I speak the truth in love for you. Burden for you guys, Catholics. I want to reason with you and show you how this is a religion of man. That you don't need to go to a priest to confess your sin. You don't need to to rely upon a man to to reconcile you to God, to have peace with God. That's that's not in the Bible. That's not in the Scriptures. That's not the way. Jesus says, I am the way. You know, the two most pleasant looking men in the world right now are the two biggest enemies of the cross. One is the Pope, another, the other is Gorbachev. And they fooled us. They fooled us. We may not have a collision with communism. We'll have one with Romanism. It's a deadly enemy because it says Mary is co-redemptrix and Mary is, is a mediator before God. Mary needed a savior. And so do you. The Bible says Unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. That means turning from your sins. It says, He that covereth his sins and shall not prosper. But he that confesses and forsakes his sins shall have. Charles Spurgeon wrote that the superstition of Rome is the worst of all the evils which have befallen our race. May the Lord arise and sweep it down to the hell from whence it arose. Spurgeon was so convicted against the papacy that he once declared, Popery is abhorred of the Lord, and they who help it wear the mark of the beast. Keep yourself, James 1.27, unspotted from the world. From the Christianity, from the world system, the, the, the utterly false Catholicism, it, which, is, it, which is so evil, my friends, truly, just study the, the history of Catholicism, it's so evil, study, look into the, the, the Inquisition, it's evil, they killed millions of people, tortured them, just like ISIS is like torturing people right now in the Middle East, that's what, that's what Catholics were doing in Europe many centuries ago. It's demonic. It's not of God. It's idolatry. Catholics pray to Mary. They they worship Mary. They think they think Jesus Christ and Mary are, are co-equals, like co-redeemers. And they and they and, and you could look at it, you just Google it. You could find photos of people bowing down 
to Mary and praying to Mary. I've been to Rome. I've been to St. Paul's Cathedral and the Vatican, and I've seen the idolatry firsthand. I've been to places in Rome where people are on their knees for hours, waiting in line, on their knees, going up the staircase, on their knees for who knows how long, just so they could go to this, this statue of, of, of the Apostle Paul and, and kiss his head and, 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 and pray to him. And it's idolatry. The God of this world has blinded your mind to pray to it pray to a statue and I'm telling you there's no peace in that if there's any kind of peace it's a false peace the 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 world. this is the world the antichrist agenda the catholic church is a system of idolatry and I called upon the Lord and he revealed himself to me and opened the heavens and I beheld the glory of God I saw the glory of Jesus Christ Trust me, anybody who's seen the glory of Jesus Christ is going to be appalled by the, by the idolatry of men because it can't be crafted with hands. And it's something, you know, that's what Jesus said, except a man is born again. You cannot see the kingdom of God.